Dragon Ball is dead and we killed it. Yes, last night we got an official confirmation that Broly would be not only kind of the title of the new Super movie, but he would also be the main antagonist and that Toriyama will be rebooting the character, but still obviously using inspirations from the old films. And this is just... Wow, I can't believe we reached this point. Um, last night I realized something that I had a sneaking suspicion uh, for a while now, and that's Battle of Gods should have bombed. It should have bombed so hard that no one would ever want to touch Dragon Ball for the next 50 years, because while I love that movie to death, it's kind of the reason we've gotten to this situation. And so, yeah, it really, really should have bombed. Sometimes a franchise dying is the best thing that can happen for it. I know a lot of people are excited for this news. I know that Broly, despite not being as popular as he used to be, because times have changed. People have kind of gotten their heads out of their asses and they have gone back to re-examine the character of Broly and to really kind of actually think about what it exactly makes him cool besides him being an intimidating badass, quote-unquote. And now he's become kind of a polarizing character where you have people who very much love him and people who very much um, hate him. I'm kind of in the hate camp, but it's more just like, uh, oh god, this stupid thing people like. It's the same feeling I have with DC's Doomsday. I don't understand how these dumb, stupid, personality-less characters um, that have absolutely nothing interesting going on for them keep having these rabid fan bases just on the basis of them having okay designs, I guess, and being really good at fighting people. Um... I guess some people just have very different standards for me, and that is more obvious than ever, because I've already seen that a lot of people are very interested to see what Toriyama wants to do with this character, because back during the 90s, Toriyama did a design for Broly, um, but it was really Takao Koyama, the writer of all the Z movies and the Bardock special, he was the guy who really... Um, was responsible for, like, the story content of the film and surrounding Broly. And people are interested to see what Toriyama finds fascinating enough about this guy to reboot him. But we know the actual reason why Toriyama even wasted any time watching the old Broly movies for inspiration, and that's the fact that his editor said, Hey, dude, uh, Broly's super popular. Why don't we bring him in? Which feels really wrong, because... Kale already exists, and Toriyama was involved with conceptualizing Kale, and she was supposed to basically be an in-continuity version of Broly, and now it feels just super weird that we're introducing the actual version of Broly also into main continuity. Uh, this is the same thing I had that bothers me with Frieza and Frost, because, okay, we bring back Frieza, and then a few months later, we bring back a slightly less obviously evil version of Frieza into the main storyline uh, with Frost. And so you have two versions of essentially the same freaking person exist. Um, and they are such... And one of one is such a blatant clone of the original, it sticks out like a sore thumb. And this feels like it's going to be the same thing, where we're just repeating the same thing with Frieza. And some people have also tried to say, well, uh, Toriyama could do something really interesting with this story... And he could really reinterpret events. I do not agree with that assertion for two very big reasons. The first of which is that we already have seen what happens when Toriyama takes another person's story and tries to reinterpret it in his way. Remember the Bardock special? Yeah. Now remember what happened with Dragon Ball Minus and how it fucked the Bardock special into oblivion. So just based on that precedent alone, I cannot understand how anyone can be excited by the idea of Toriyama taking another story and then rebooting it in his own style. Just saying, guys. And the next part is the fact that Toriyama has not written a good Dragon Ball story since the 90s. Ever since the Frieza arc, Toriyama has just consistently not been able to do a Dragon Ball story that was completely good from beginning to end. Not a good story with a few warts. I'm talking about uh, a narrative that actually kind of functions, because the Android arc is an absolute mess from beginning to end. The Boo arc, 
is kind of mediocre in that a lot of it kind of really works. And then there are just long stretches of time where it's just not uh, working at all. Um, and then, uh, of course, he was involved with GT. Uh, then he you know, did Yosun Goku, which was kind of nothing. He did Battle of Gods, except he didn't actually do Battle of Gods. He came out of the project, uh, kind of tweaked around another person's script, and that's probably the only reason Battle of Gods was actually any good. Then he half-assed the Resurrection F film by basically not even making a proper script for it, uh, which he himself admitted Resurrection F barely has a script, guys. And then he's also been behind conceptualizing a lot of the other stuff for Dragon Ball Super. But when you actually boil it down, a lot of Super is just regurgitating the, the whole stuff that we've already seen before. The Universe 6 arc is nothing but the other world tournament except considerably more boring. Uh, Zamasu and Goku Black are interesting characters and they are unique for Dragon Ball... But they still exist in a story where we have to destroy Future Trunks' future again so he can go back to the past again because nostalgia, guys. And to go back earlier to the timeline, Resurrection F is just a bigger, longer, and considerably stupider version of Mecha, Frieza, and King Cold arriving on Earth and being killed on, with Trunks. It's literally the same thing, except it's got more mooks, and Frieza lasts longer before inevitably being defeated. So once again, it's just regurgitating the same crap all over again. And then the Universe 6 arc is just the Universe... Uh, the Universe Survival arc is just, once again, the Other World Tournament, except bigger, longer, and considerably stupider than the Other World Tournament ever was. So I really don't understand why people think we're going to get something fresh and exciting. Toriyama hasn't had a fresh and exciting thing to say about this franchise for years now. Um, if this was someone else writing the story, I would have a shred of hope for it, but it's just not going to happen. And it also feels just kind of wrong because we got new designs for the franchise in general. And, and a lot of the uh, kind of push for the new designs was rooted in Toei realizing that the franchise had gotten kind of visually stagnant after having Yamamuro on it for such a long time. And they spent an entire year uh, focusing on the designs, tweaking them to make sure that when they debuted, they would be the absolute best they could possibly be. And they wanted to give kind of something fresh and new from like a visual perspective for Dragon Ball. And so... Seeing this kind of big disparity between what the animation people want to do and what the story people are doing continues to blow my mind because it's the same thing that was kind of obvious in Super. And on Super, it really was the animation people who were making sure that the show was having any sort of positive merits whatsoever while the writing was almost consistently bad. And so it's really disappointing to see that massive disparity continue here where we got this fresh new approach for Dragon Ball's visuals and then what are we going to use to debut these visuals? Another probably rehash of another generic Broly story. That feels so disappointing. Um, and, and look, like I said, if it, if it was someone other than Toriyama writing this, I might give it a chance. Even, even with the caveat of having to tolerate Broly. But, like I said, I just don't think Toriyama has it in him uh, to pull something off good. I really feel like Dragon Ball is a franchise that reached its logical conclusion with the Frieza arc. And everything after it has just been this increasingly ridiculous, forceful continuation of a concept that I don't think had a lot of legs to begin with. So yeah, those are really my thoughts on the movie. It's just sad and kind of disappointing because I was actually kind of getting excited for it a little bit because of all the design work, but it's very obvious that Dragon Ball is not good for anything except, I guess, an animation showcase. And if you're one of those people who's fine with that and you just want fight scenes, that's that's good for you. I'm This movie's probably going to look spectacular. I'm not going to lie. This movie's probably going to be one of the most... Um, animated, uh, highest quality animated Dragon Ball things to ever exist. 
and I'll probably give at least the fight scenes a watch on YouTube, but honestly, unless I see some super fascinating stuff from from story leaks or whatever, and I get uh, praise from some trusted sources concerning the story quality of the film, I'm not going to bother with this. I'm just going to skip it the same way I've skipped all of the DC animated original movies for the past few years. So, yeah, those are ultimately my thoughts on the Broly movie. Um, it's it's going to be a big load of nothing, I think. It's going to look great, but I'm sorry I'm not a guy who was into Dragon Ball just for the action. I like story and action to go together, and if the story sucks, then all I have is loud, pretty noise pestering me uh, visually and audio-wise. So yeah, what are your thoughts on the film, guys? Do you like it? Do you dislike the idea of Broly coming back? Please comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you next time.